This is the assistant principal in Greenwich School saying that he discriminates on the basis of religion and on the basis of age when making hiring decisions. This is not a low-level person. The assistant principal is the person who's tasked with making all hiring decisions. Oh, so then what do you do as a Catholic? So if you find out someone is Catholic, then what? You don't hire the Catholics, he said. It's actually against the law to discriminate in such a way. Uh, we released this story last week, and after we released it, the superintendent of schools announced that the staff member was placed on leave, that he was gone. This is not partisan. The governor of Connecticut is a Democrat. The attorney general of Connecticut is a Democrat. The US Senator Richard Blumenthal is a Democrat. And they all were praising the investigative work done by Project Veritas. In fact, the governor said discrimination of any kind has no place in Connecticut, especially in our schools. It's not aligned with our values. Um, what's interesting about that was the Education Association, that's the teachers union in the state where we did the story, was not telling people that this was a bad thing that it needed to be exposed. No, they were saying, be careful that Veritas is lurking around. <laughs> if I took this screenplay to Netflix, they would laugh at me because it's so ridiculous. Truth is stranger than fiction. Journalists don't do this anymore. Nobody does this anymore. They take the subject at face value. They say, the spokesperson says, right? They say, the government says, or according to people familiar with the situation. You ever hear that line in the newspaper? Who are these people familiar with the situation? I want to see their faces. I want to see their intonation. I want to know their names. Two officials have been let go in one week. I mean, and you say, well, this is the tip of the iceberg. You're not wrong. It very well is the tip of the iceberg. So I say, let's send dozens, hundreds of people with cameras into the schools. Let's send thousands of people into the schools. Let's whistleblowers, you'll go. We got volunteers in the room. Please speak with my producer afterwards and we'll, we'll give you a hidden camera. How does that sound? I mean, how old are your journalists? Age 18 to 81. Every ethnicity and place across the world looks like the United Nations at Project Veritas. Now let's go to South Carolina. Let me talk about your, um, your candidate, uh, Matthews. So uh, people say, how did you get this? Well, a source came to us in South Carolina. A prison inmate phone call was given to us by a source here at the Perry Correctional Institution. And Crystal Matthews talks about sleepers, that we need people to pose as something they're not in, in candidates for public office, and we need that, quote, dope boy money, duffel bag boy money, drug money, is what she says in these recordings. Where the f is my black people with money? I don't care about no dope money. Give me that dope boy money. Where the f is dope? Where the duffel bag boy? Get you, find you somebody from your family that don't even know you donating to my campaign and put that shit under their name. Put the dope boy money under other people's names. That's against federal law, against state law. So as usual, Project Veritas always has another tape. My district is heavily Republican and it's heavily white. Wow. You're not a stranger to white people. I'm from a mostly white town. Yeah. And let me tell you one thing. You gotta know who you're dealing with. Like, yeah. You, you gotta treat them like like yeah. I mean, pretty, that's the only way yeah. they respect you. Like, yeah, no. I, I, I keep them right here like, under my thumb. Like, yeah. that's where I keep them. Like, yeah. you have to. Yeah. Like, otherwise, they get out of control like kids. Trust. You have to, quote, treat them white people like shit, says your United States Senate candidate for office. What can you do? Well, I mean, you say people, this is the, you know, frequently asked question. Well, James, what can I do to help you? you can do one of three things. Number one, you can do this. I think we have some volunteers that raised your hands. Great, talk to my producer, we'll give you the cameras and get you set up. The second thing you could do is donate to Project Veritas, okay? Donate to Project Veritas. We have been sued, we have won every case, we have never lost a lawsuit at Project Veritas. The second thing you can do is donate to us, and I am asking you to do that if you support this work. I need your help. We need you. I have no advertisers. I'm not brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> brought to you by Pfizer. Brought to you by Pfizer. I'm not brought to you by Pfizer. Nobody tells us what to do. 
which is the way it ought to be. And the third thing you can do, wait for it, you can do nothing. You can do absolutely nothing. In fact, you can complain and you can bitch and you can whine, but I'm not your therapist. So do not come up to me after this event and complain, bitch, and whine. I don't have time for that. I have thousands of people messaging me all across the country with tips from in their schools. So if you want to bitch and complain and whine, go see a therapist, go talk to each other. I don't have time for that. I've got too many teachers that need to be investigated. I've got too many corrupt politicians hiding dope money in bags. So that leaves us with only two options. You can wear a hidden camera, you can take out your phone, you can donate. That's what you can do. 